thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> My pleasure to be here. Um, everyone is pretty excited, but I think the the main the the main thing is that everyone was was waiting for that moment. Do you not? Know, we have 50 years waiting to to get the opportunity uh, to be part of the of the reality of the world. Because Cuba Cuba is an amazing place. Cuba, for me, I always say that is the treasure island. Uh, we got so much talent there. We got so much people creating, playing, singing. You, you know, studying, growing, just waiting for the opportunity to to shine, to shine. To shine. So, all we need right now is is to make the things happen. We are all praying. Let's see in the good way. I mean, I got so good studies in the school. I, I, I used to study choir conductor. Uh, that, that's my main career. So I start to study music with 10 years old in the school. I graduate with um, 19. That's the Cuban system to study uh, music in the classical way. But, um, I didn't learn how, how to sing yet because I have all my life singing as well. My mom says that I started to sing before to talk. <laughs> she said that. <laughs> I'm so open-minded about music. I think even about everything. I I like music. Music is 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 my life. It's all I have. It's all I know to to do also. <laughs> so to talk about reference like um, that people that inspire me. I always talk about um, Nina Simone. That is kind of my queen. Nina. Nina is, is an interesting case, especially because she, you know, normally jazz singers sing, you know, standards or songs in the jazzy way. And you said, this is a jazz singer because she's singing standards, or this is a jazz singer for the way that she sings. But Nina used to sing her songs in her way, in her mood. Uh, she she was uh, she she was getting the right way to to conduct her speech. So every single song that you get from Nina is a reference for all the singers. Because she got her career in her own way with her own music. So um, I'm, I mean I'm I'm just so, someone writing my own music, trying to make it work, trying to make it happen, trying, trying to get people involved in, in, in the same mood, in the same feeling, in the same vibe. So uh, I, I just want to make sure that, that one day the people are, are going are gonna to respect me and feel me as I feel Nina in my life. 
That's a good question. Um, in Cuba, we we have uh, a phenomenon when when you don't have from outside, you create inside. When you don't have enough information, when you don't have enough um, vision about the, the world and how it is going. You start to create your own world. Um, about Cuba specifically, musicians always try to, to get the information when they are traveling. Uh, you know, don't download it and everything. <laughs> just just to, to bring it to Cuba and to share it with everyone. So all the music that we have, because we don't have internet yet, so all the music that we get is downloading the music outside Cuba and sharing with friends and everything. So everyone is like asking, uh, do you have something new? Uh, can you give it to me? So we always are bringing uh, USB keys with us, just trying to change information. That's the way. Um, but, but at the same time, it just makes us create and create and create in our in in our own way in the in the Cuban way. Ay, 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 ay. It was destiny, I guess, because we, we met each other when I was like um, 16 years old in, in, a, in, a, in a party in a house with family and friends. I was singing there, you know, but uh, he wasn't able to work with me because I, I was 16, so you have to be 18 to, to work in Cuba. So, um, so I met, I saw him years later when Havana Club was organizing a new CD with these chains. I mean, between these chains from everywhere in the in the world with Cuban singers. So they made a, they organized an open mic uh, to pick the singers, and Giles was the the boss of that project. So we we met each other one more time and, and he asked me about going to London to release the CD, you know, with the DJs and everything. And being there, I got like two days off and he asked me, would you like to go to the studio and re record some tracks, you know? Um, I just, I just said, of course, I mean, when someone is giving you the studio for free, <laughs> you just go there and try to, 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 uh, to you know, to make work at that time. Um, and when he saw me, like, working and doing everything, he asked me, would you like, like, to sign with the label, I mean, for real, and to have a contract with us? Uh, that's the kind of situations that you don't think, you just said yes. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe if you have to think, you, you don't do it, you just said yes. So it was my case, I just said yes, and I signed with him 
we made Nueva Era and, and now we, we are getting this beautiful relationship about work, about family, about, about creating, about, about life. Uh, that EP is is a beautiful project that we just made because we 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 got this situation in Cuba. I mean, we we were recording the music for the do do documentary of Rumba La Clave is the is the name, and we got free time in the studio with the musicians and everything there. So we just said. Let's do something. Let's try songs that we like. And we started to try songs that we like, that childs like, that that everyone likes. And you know, just playing for fun, we got to record like nine nine songs like that. So yeah, the label said we should release this. That's why the name is One Takes. Because all the songs are just one takes for fun, you know, and then we just add later a few hacking vocals and it was enough. We were just having fun at the studio and at the end we got to record really good stuff. So we select around five songs that are like really tough ones. And this is the, the new kid <laughs> that I am bringing to the world. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not mom. That's uh, that's why I'm I'm, I'm pregnant with music. <laughs> Still. <laughs> Um, when I when I uh, started to work with Giles, I I was in my initiation year of Santeria. Uh, when you have to wear white for one year at all, always white, covering your head. Giles and the label they just loved the idea. Uh, in my year of initiation, I initiated also a new life, a new moment in, in my life about working and they decided to keep the idea about this new new moment, I mean this uh, re rebirth. When you are working and to focus in work, and you are getting so much, uh, I mean, success in the in the good way about work, not 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 about money, about like good work. Your personal life is start to get second paper in your life, third paper in your life. So you just forget that that you have a, a personal life too, and sometimes. You, you need it. You need your personal life. Sometimes you, uh, you are enjoying, 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 and you are so happy about work, about 
crowd, about stage, about music, you know, about vibes. But at the end of the day, stage is two hours a day. Um, crowd is one hour and a half. And your personal life is like, what is my personal life? So now my, my only boyfriend is the stage. <laughs> Hopefully, and people said to you, yeah, but you don't need it, trust me, you need it. You need someone to, to be with you, to, to trust in you. You need someone supporting you, saying, I'm here. I'm here to give you my hand. I give, I'm here to, to let you know that, that I'm here. Um, you know, that's life. Let's see. It. <laughs> Mira, muchacho, si ya te di mi corazón. I like dresses, I'm in Milan, so just let me know guys what, what I can get here. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so oh, much. My pleasure. <laughs> so, no, lo que quiero decir de ti es chao. 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 Chao, chao, maito. Chao, tu paya yo pa acá para matar la distancia. Sí. 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 Tus ojitos 